right bringing Belmont to life. For some passers-by, it just might bring them back to their childhoods. This character is like a cereal box that I, um, it's like imagery that comes up in a lot of my paintings. So it's really inspired by artists in Chicago that I grew up viewing, like people in Pilsen and Logan Square, you'll see a lot of people that have their own personal character, so this is my take on it. Vacant storefronts are coming alive on the north side to celebrate International Women's Day, which is Wednesday, and Women's History Month. Art installations on Belmont between Western and Ravenswood feature the work of local women artists. The pop-ups are possible thanks to a $2 million grant the Lakeview Roscoe Village Chamber of Commerce received from the city's Department of Business Affairs and Consumer Protection. One of the artists, Nez, who appeared on the WGN Morning News, is enjoying this time in the spotlight. Belmont is like a main street. Um, I had a lot of people just like come by and say hi and see like what's going on and what's the mural going to be, wanting to take pictures. Um, it's really nice just to see the kids also get excited about the characters. Um, so yeah, it's just been a really fun experience. The weather is warming up, more people are getting out. The hope is they'll check out the art then find their way to the many women-owned small businesses in the neighborhood. Several businesses are donating a percentage of sales to various charities. Yeah, we actually have yeah. over more than 40 own, women-owned businesses just in Roscoe Village, which is a pretty small area in the city. It's really important to support women-owned businesses, women artists, um, especially in this month of Women History Month. The art installations will be in storefronts until the end of March. In Roscoe Village, Judy Wang, WGN News.